Chinese uh, culture have three different kind of uh, uh, knowledge or philosophy. One is Taoism. Taoism. What's the Taoism? Everything Chinese you learn, the skill. <coughs> you need to learn how to write. If you want to know deeper. So, there's two words here. It's a face. <laughs> That's a boat. That's one. Original. A face. Chinese writing based on picture. So, a face means a man on the boat. He's going somewhere else. In the water, everything flow. Yeah, boat need to be flow along. Follow the flow. Follow the flow. Follow the the nature. So, Taoism means follow the nature. You follow the nature, you live longer, you're healthy, and no trouble. You're against nature, you'll be unhealthy. Why like today we do so many things against the nature? And you also upset other people and create confrontation, enemies. Flow. Yeah. It comes from you know, 2000, uh, 3,000 years ago, almost, uh, 2,800 years ago, a master, Lao, but this is a nickname, Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu, Lao means old, Tzu means Mr. Mr. Old Man, <laughs> that's his, his name, Lord. When we call someone a Lao, O oh, means respect. In China, like uh, Jackie Chan, no, Chan is his surname. He's not dying, he's just Chan. So he's old, older, over 60. So in China, people will call him Lao, Lao Chan. But proper pronunciation should be Lao Chen. Yeah. But the Chinese Cantonese Lao Chen means old Chen. But that means he's respected with experience. With more experience. experience. So Lao means he has a lot of knowledge because he worked for the library in the, in the Zhou Dynasty. So he wrote a book called Tao Te Ching. Tao, we know, natural way. The means moral, morality. The natural way with moral, morality. Jing means a classic book. What's anything like Yi Jing you heard about? Any Chinese book called Jing? Or even with Bible, we call it Sing Jing. Any Jing means that knowledge, that book, can go through any, any, uh, any time, any period. 2,000 years ago, you can read this book. After 2,000, you still can read this book. Another 2,000 years, you still can read Tao Te Ching. That is Jing. Forever knowledge. Natural way, doubt it. Another, you know, Confucianism. You heard about. Also come from a master. Kung Cho. Maybe Kung Cho, Confucianism. Yeah, that's. Because Lao Tzu, old Mr. Old Man, or Kong Fu Tzu. 
Fu Zi, Lao Zi is the same. Mister, Mister Kong, with the knowledge. Anybody call it Zi Zi, means have knowledge. And Kung Fu Zi, Confucius, maybe come from that. Yeah, but Confucius in Chinese called Lu Zha. Lu Zha, Zha means style. Lu, behave. How to behave? Say hello, say goodbye, say thank you, respect, bow, you know. As they create a system for the society. Everybody know how to behave themselves and how to get along the system in order so no chaos. Different from now. So like parents should love the children, to look at the children. Children respect and take care of the parents. Yeah, when they're older, now parents and children, the relationship in Chinese is when you, when the baby is born, the parents are responsible. When the children grow up, become adult, and then the children are responsible for the parents. Complete balance cycle. So that create a harmony society. So because when we older, it's good to have some young people, right? Old people with old people together not very good future. Be around with young people. And the young people can learn a lot from the old people. So they make less mistakes. So that's how the society works. Yeah. Because when when you have, don't know anything, your parents do young and strong, healthy, look after them. So when they're older, they like a child, you know, they forget things. But the children mature, look after them. So the best is the blood, look after the blood. So they create a very harmony. And then even disabled, disability people stay in the family. Stay in the family, then, you know, they, because it's blood, they will look after them. Ten children, one, or no, ten children, two, one have a problem for the leg, can't work. The brother will look after them. A system look at them. That's how family it works. And then we respect who's the, who's the seniors, who's in charge, and we then discuss, and then all become have order. That's Confucius.